jump right in to this grocery haul because it took about 45 minutes to get home. I laid everything out. I don't want things to thaw out too much. You guys are gonna probably hear some background noise. I feel like you're either gonna hear the kids or the dogs. This time it's the dogs. <laughs> but starting over here with the produce, you guys know every time I go to Trader Joe's, oh, first, actually, I wanted to tell you guys, so for all of this food, it was $350. So I just wanted to say that I did get some flowers, which that's technically that would be $10. They were five or $6 each. But when we were there, Frank and I were saying that if we had gotten all this food from Publix, it would have been at least 400, maybe even probably $450 because groceries are so expensive right now. But anyways, so you guys know, I always get salads when I go to Trader Joe's. They actually had so many salads. I kind of wish I could get more, but I know that they would go bad. And actually, Aria really enjoys salad, so I got her one as well. But this one is a lemon, chicken, and arugula salad. And then one of my favorites is this mozzarella and tomato salad. And then this crunchy slaw one, which is probably what I'm going to have for lunch right now. And then a Caesar salad, which is actually Aria's personal favorite, so I might get her that one. Got a carton of strawberries, grapes. I don't think we've tried these yet. These are called honey pearl grapes so i'm excited to try those and i know harlow really enjoys grapes so i'm excited to see if she'll like those too some fresh blueberries actually we got a big thing of blueberries because fletcher loves dried blueberries so we're even thinking about getting some dehydrated but we did find some dried ones while we were there so we got a couple bags of those i'll show you guys that here in a minute but if you guys remember the cereal that i usually show you in like my Publix hauls the, it used to be called blueberry morning. I can't remember what it's called now, but he'll pick the blueberries, just pick the dried blueberries out of that cereal. So I'm like, why don't we just make some dehydrated or dried blueberries for him? So I think we might try to attempt that with some of those. Uh, some parsley, cilantro, two cucumbers. I got this for lunch and then also one for juicing. Got some Brussels sprouts, baby broccolini, and some colorful carrots. I always like to get these every single time I go and I always love to roast them. They are so good. You guys need to try these if you have not already. I got a baby spinach and spring mix blend salad. I'm gonna make some fresh salads at home. I actually got this chicken to go with it. It's ready to eat. It's already cut up. It says it's great for salads, sandwiches, quesadillas, and more. So I was gonna add some of those with that. And of course I had to get the green goddess dressing if you guys have not tried this dressing you are seriously missing out it is one of my favorites and then i'll add a few more toppings with that some celery for juicing some fancy berry medley i love to use these for my yogurt and aria likes to add them to her smoothies some avocados i have never tried these before and i was like you guys i was going on tiktok instagram that's where i always go whenever i want to try new things at trader joe's or if there's new items so also i'm hoping like by me doing these hauls i'm introducing you to new products too i never knew that they had these and i've been just buying like the minced garlic which is fine but this is amazing so i got two of those it just has little crushed garlic that you can add to your pan this is genius like i said i got two they're frozen and then some medley tomatoes different color tomatoes a white onion we're gonna have carne asada tacos for dinner we got two sometimes when we make this meal so the kids just want a quesadilla like a cheese quesadilla and then some of the kids want tacos so usually one is good for one dinner meal we love this meat so much that we always get this every single time we go to trader joe's i just get their tortillas which i'll show you guys here in a second put it on there with some onion so cilantro even some of their where is it the salsa verde i'm telling you guys it is amazing, so good. I could eat like four of them. This is something I haven't tried yet, but this sounded really, really good. They are shrimp burgers. You can either grill, bake, or pan fry them. I was gonna put them with like a lettuce wrap and maybe like an aioli sauce or something. You can add some greens on there. It looks amazing, so I'm excited to try those. And then I've never tried or got the chicken nuggets from Trader Joe's, so I picked up a pack of those. I was tempted to get two. They actually only had a few left, so it must be a popular item but I didn't know if the kids would like them. So if they do, the next time I go, I'll stock up. And then I also got some smoked apple sausage. Thinking about adding this to my omelets in the morning. I haven't tried this one, the smoked apple Chardonnay one, but I heard it was really good. And then got a pack of string cheese. I've heard a lot of people talking about this non-dairy oat creamer. It's brown sugar. I was actually gonna try to see if I could recreate the brown sugar shaken espresso from Starbucks. So stay tuned. I think the only thing I need is like the syrup to go with it, 
but this one is oat milk and it was actually on sale for $1.99 and then I got myself two things two tubs of yogurt this is the Greek non-fat yogurt and coconut cream of course it doesn't want to focus there we go so I got two of those. And then over here we have some bruschetta sauce. Frank loves these. These are really good with crackers or fresh bread. I got some feta for a lunch recipe I'm gonna make, crumbled feta. And then some organic, chunky, homestyle guacamole. I don't think I've tried this guacamole yet. I might have. I don't know. I'm just a lover of anything with avocados and guacamole so i'm excited to try those i got some chips to go with that i've got a couple yogurts for the kids so we have some squeeze tubes the strawberry um this is their organic low-fat yogurt and then they only had one of these left i usually like to get um, a couple different flavors for the kids but this was the last one left so i grabbed it i snagged it this one is banana and cream and strawberries and cream i got this korean inspired bulgogi the fried rice with kimchi i am so excited to try this you guys Bulgogi is one of my favorite foods of all time. I've been eating it since I was like eight, like maybe around Nolan's age. I love anything to do with bulgogi and kimchi in particular, so I'm excited to try that. They also had a beefless one too, um, like a vegan option, I think. So I think I'm gonna go back and try that one. And then Frank really liked this meal. It's the gnocchi and it has a tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese, so we got one of those. I haven't tried their Kung Pao chicken. Usually we always get the orange chicken, but this time I want to try their Kung Pao chicken. And then I also got this Asian style vegetables with stir fry sauce. I was thinking I could also add some of this chicken to that and that would make like a really quick dinner meal or even a lunch idea. And then Frank got these mini chicken tacos. I think Aria would really, really like those. He saw those and thought they looked really good. I think I have gotten those before. Um, you can actually put the salsa verde sauce on it and that would be really good too. Hold on, I just have to pause for a second because I hear scratching. I look over and Coco is clawing at the corner. I think he's trying to bite it. Coco, what are you doing? I have to give him one of these treats. I got some dog treats over there too. I think this is a new item as well. Usually I always get the silver dollar pancakes for the kids, but this time I'm gonna try these mini pancake puffs. Those look so good. So I'm gonna see if the kids will like those. And then I think that is it over here. I haven't tried their traditional meatloaf. This is actually something I saw on somebody's TikTok. So I was thinking we could have this with some mashed potatoes for dinner. They said it's really good. Um, I think I showed you guys the dried wild blueberries for Fletcher. We actually got one pack. We opened it in the store. He was just eating it in the cart. And then I told Frank, I'm like, why don't you just go back and get another one? Because he really, really loves these. So got two of those some soft and juicy mango. Aria really likes bees. I got myself some sesame honey almonds. And then Frank got two. Oh my gosh, he's going crazy over there. Frank got two of these mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. This is definitely a guilty pleasure of ours. You guys can put these with popcorn or on top of ice cream, eat it by themselves. I sometimes put it in the kids' lunches. Well, actually it depends, because Harlow, I mean, Scarlett's class can't have any, um, peanut butter or nuts but anyways what i'm trying to say is next time you guys go to trader joe's get those those are a staple of ours um so got all of those um here's a valentine's actually i got a couple valentine's things i couldn't help myself it was so cute one, i wasn't sure if i was gonna like these or not so i only got one but they are like heart shaped raviolis and they're pink and they're so cute and then i also got some heart shaped macarons uh, the kids actually really really like macarons so i got two boxes of those they have eight each look how cute those are i showed you guys the salsa a couple times uh two cans of garbanzo beans actually this was the lunch that i was going to make um with some red onions and the feta cheese and then we got a jar of tomato basil marinara marinara however you say it um i got a organic creamy tomato soup sometimes we'll have soup and grilled cheese for dinner. The kids like other things like chicken noodle soup and ramen. I like the creamy tomato soup. I actually really like these protein bars. I think I tried one last time and I decided I was gonna try some more flavors the next time I went. They actually have 20 grams of protein and no sugar added. So I got chocolate dough. This one is hazelnut and nougat, cookies and cream 
and I think this might be the one I tried last time. I can't remember, but this one is caramel and cashew. I really like them. The brand is Barbells. I don't know if they just have them at Trader Joe's. You probably can buy them directly from their website. So I might end up doing that because I really like these. And then I got three things of the fruit sauce crushers, basically like apple sauce pouches. We got apple carrot, apple strawberry, and apple mango. Got some JoJo's, which is basically like an Oreo, like Trader Joe's version of Oreos. And the kids really, really like these. I actually really like them too, almost even more than Oreos, just saying. I wanted to try these organic roasted seaweed with salt. I don't think the kids will like these. If any of the kids do, it would probably be Aria, but I was wanting just one pack, but they came in a pack of six, so I hope I like them. <laughs> because I have plenty to eat. Got some bagels for Harlow. Frank picked out these butter croissants for sandwiches. Here's the mini flour tortillas that I was talking about. And then you guys, I was on the hunt for these X and O's. Where they were in the store, they were completely sold out. And so I went to go get the Scandinavian swimmers, which is also another kid's favorite from the kids. But as we were checking out, I looked down because you know how like they have the shelves and like different chocolates and gums and mints and things like that. I looked down and there were two bags. I originally grabbed one. I was like, mm -mm, nope, I'm going to grab another one. So I got two of those. I think it'd be really cute to make like Valentine's Day inspired lunches for the kids and put those in there. So I got two bags of those and I got two bags of the rolled corn tortilla chips. Those are a favorite. Me, uh, I almost said no one. No one doesn't like spicy. Me, Frank and Aria really like those even better than the Takis and they were out of stock. I thought they had discontinued it. No, they were just out of stock because it's like one of their number one items. So next time you guys go to Trader Joe's, you like spicy, you like Takis, try those. They are so addicting. I could eat one bag in one sitting. And then we actually ended up getting two different chips. I wanted to get my own chips and then Frank got his own, which are the Salsa Verde corn tortilla chips. And I got myself veggie and flaxseed corn tortilla chips. So it has like carrot and tomato, spinach and garlic, red beet and onion. I'm gonna try those with that guacamole. Um, and then also these chips are really good with this bruschetta sauce too. And then I got a bag of white cheddar corn puffs. Those are Nolan's personal favorites. And then we also got some cheese puffs. Of course, I had to get some flowers. I could not turn down these hydrangeas just because of how beautiful they are. And actually the tip to making them last longer because they die pretty fast is like when you cut them, smash the ends, you can use literally anything. You could use a hammer, anything hard to smash it to kind of break up the ends. And I'm telling you guys, if you try that, they will last so much longer. So I'm actually about to, after I put all the food away, I'm gonna put those in a vase. And then I got some treats for the dogs because obviously I have to get some special treats for them too. They have a Valentine's, this was in their new section. Usually Trader Joe's has like a whole shelf of new items to try and these were on there. So they're like little sweet cream flavored dental sticks. I got two. So we got three babies and then some reef and beef, soft baked crab meal and beef recipes. That sounded interesting. I think the dogs would really like that. And then this chew cootery assorted flavor dog treats. Actually, we have been like spoiling them so much. I even got two canisters over here. We got some Valentine's Day treats in here. And then, oh gosh, they're gonna hear that. I bet you come running over here. Oh, Coco heard it. And then we have some in here, so I'll probably end up refilling them. But since they were good while we were gone, guys want some treats? You want a treat, Coco? I hear Luna. Luna, you want a treat? Georgia, you want a treat? All right, everybody needs to sit. 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 Georgia. Good girl. All right, you first, Coco, because you sat first and then Luna, and then Georgia. She's gonna be super gentle. There we go, good girl. So that is everything that we got. I hope I didn't miss anything. I tried to get everything, but sometimes I get carried away and I get distracted and then I miss stuff. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this Trader Joe's haul. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys would love to see more in the future. Hopefully gave you guys some ideas to get. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot. This was another new item too. I almost missed it. But these maple pancake flavored puffs, they're corn and rice snacks. 
the cashier that was checking us out, she said these are so good. So you guys will have to try these too. These are a new item. So I got those for the kids to try. But anyways, like I was saying, I hope I gave you guys some ideas to get the next time you guys go. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.